Hello. Welcome to the Daily Political Tarot Readings here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm here 365 days of the year uh, to take your 12 political questions out of the chat. Uh, just leave them in the chat before I go on. And uh, then if you're watching this on replay, hello, you can go down in the description box. All the questions are there and I timestamp them as I go. So you can always drop in, pick and choose what you're interested in, get in, get out. Uh, or do stop by. We have a great community and I really like to give you guys credit in, for what you say in the chat whenever I can uh, because you're funny and you're, you're, you're actually you're hysterical and you're smart and, and gosh darn it, I like you. So 10% uh, of my income from everything black and orange goes to Feeding America at feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. And I guess that's kind of it. We, uh, today we get to look at felonies. <laughs> Yay, felony day. Uh, not that he's been indicted yet, which tick tock, uh, but yes. Oh yes. Oh, Ricky, that is so sweet. And the star of the show, the inspiration behind It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, Boo Boo Zen Kitty. Yes, he's down here and he's snoozing. And you should see he's he's doing he's doing that cat yoga pose. Here, let me show you. This cat. Cat yoga. Look at that. Oh, and you get a little hint of my Halloween nails, which I'm trying to organize. So all right. Thank you. That's very sweet. So he's here. Um, and Cindy's saying, you like me. You really like me. I like Sally Field. Um, I mean, I just in general, but we also happen to have the same birthday. So not the same year, but the same day. So it's like me, Ethan Hawke, Sally Fields, John Philip Sousa. <laughs> It's, a, it's kind of a weird day. Uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s wife. Random. Random. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, everybody. All right. Let's, let's, let's look. Let's drop some cards. Shall we? What? Yeah. The emotional justice. <laughs> Us being... Yay! <laughs> Just get this. That's what we're reading on. Okay, Taylor B says November 6th. I don't know why I remember that. Well, I guess that is my birthday. Thank you. Um, Seattle Roller Derby fan. That's an awesome name. Hello. And yes, uh, prayers for Moxie Chachas dogs, please. Oh, I'm glad you like the brooch. Thank you. It's all sparkly. Is it just on my nails? So, anyway. All right. At three minutes, 30 seconds in, let's just start at the first felonies and work our way through, shall we? What do I, what, what, let's see, what am I doing with my day? Um, I, I, uh, have a, a business meeting in a little while to go over the parts of the, the different projects I'm working on. I have leftovers tonight so I can have tacos for dinner. Really looking forward to that. Um, I've got to get a bunch of projects. I need to scan it all, do a PDF and, and get that over uh, to have that looked at, try to try to piece that together. Uh, taking care of the cats. I uh, got ready for this. I'm spending time with you. I'll be doing creative sprints this afternoon. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing anything. Um, yeah. Um, nothing with classified documents, nothing uh, compartmentalized classified documents. Um, not to see the FBI isn't, to the best of my knowledge, the FBI isn't going to stop by. Um, let's see, Matt Gates. Let's see, I'm not taking any drugs today. Nothing, nothing illegal. I have some supplements, but 
And uh, yeah, I no no hookers, no, no. Yeah, I don't understand these people's lives, but anyway. All right, hello, Gigi. Hello, Serena. Ricky, first felonies, if they are all Trumps, will be here until August of 2122. Exactly. Kathy Delisle, Taco Tuesday is pretty special, isn't it? Yeah. Kristen from Uncover the News has brought some great information today, including just now. Um, number one, NARA, the National Archives, determined that special access program material was in the 15 boxes turned over by Trump last winter. That's more secret. Oh, geez. It's more secret than TS forward slash SCI. <laughs> special access program. <laughs> Two, there was a back and forth on the question of protective executive privilege between Trump, the National Archives, and the Biden White House in the spring. And according to the archivist, the Biden White House determined that it would allow the National Archives to say whether any material at Mar-a-Lago might be covered by executive privilege. Also, Trump lawyers asked the National Archive to hold off on transferring the 15 boxes to the FBI for a national security damage assessment, the DOJ and the National Archives jointly determined the request should be denied. Uh, oh gosh, there's more. The letter establishes that the Biden administration believes firmly that there is no executive privilege that Trump could assert here. It's not even close. So, um, when documents were recovered from Hillary Clinton and we'd never heard the end of it on and on, she had, she had some classified material with her. Do you know how many classified documents she had with her? Five, which is, may not be great, you know? Um, Trump, current count, what's they're saying? 300 Remember, just in the last group, those those boxes they just took, what I heard on MSNBC was there were a hundred top secret and above documents, 800 pages. Let's put this in perspective. One sec. Hang on. Hang on. Walk over here. Get this. Okay. This is 500 pages. This is a ream of paper. Partial ream of paper. So let's say another 200, 300, that's oh, probably more 300. It's probably, uh, that's, that's probably a, yeah, that's, that's probably about 200, something like that. All right. This, all of this, this much paper in classified and above, top secret and above, all of it. Massive national security risk, 800 pages. And that was just in this last group. So, yeah. Oh, speaking of books, um, Joan E. was saying most former presidents write a book about their time in the White House. Uh, and I don't think Trump wanted the documents to write a book. Heck, didn't he just release a picture book? True. 
uh, he actually, there, there is somebody who went on Fox and said, oh, well, presidents write their memoirs. And I, I think it was Bo of the fifth column who was like, uh, excuse me, that's even worse. What, what you're, you're trying to, um, uh, you're trying to publish classified material. How, how exactly does that work? Taylor B says, it looks like you may need some tissue soon. Why do I? Do I look all right? What's wrong? <laughs> Why do I need tissues? Okay. Anyway, so the former president, Donald Trump, who pers he personally reviewed the boxes in late 2021. Basically, they said the National Archives contacted him and said, excuse us. And so in late 2021, he went in person personally went through the documents and decided which ones he was going to keep and which ones they could send back. He kept more than 300. Experts are claiming Trump is facing a substantial criminal investigation or handcuffs in his near future. Because here's the thing. Um, the longer he's out in the world, the more he can... Um, oh, the boxes behind me. Yes, those. Yes, I needed the boxes that came in. Uh, there were two boxes and they, I needed them. And now I've got to figure out where I'm going to store those because storage is a problem in my life. But anyway, um, yeah. Rowan says that acknowledges he knew what he was doing. Mm -hmm. They, they, this is, this is really a problem. He is a massive security risk. Kristen says the news is saying purported National Archives letter shows the extent of classified materials previously at Mar-a-Lago. If it was anyone but him. I, I guarantee you that right now, somewhere in this country, that there are a handful of people here or there who have <clears throat> knowledge of super secret stuff, who tried to sell it or did sell it or whatever. But basically the government has found, not literally, but they have found a legal hole to put these people in for the rest of their natural lives. I guarantee you there are a handful of people in this country right now who legally are never gonna see daylight again. So Trump is, no better. This is above top. This is, and now it's even the, the, that even higher than compartmentalized. I mean, give me a break. Why is this guy still walking around? And he runs his mouth all the time. And he has access to the uh, internet and social media. They could start spouting all kinds of secret stuff. Is that what it's going to take? That's what I should ask next. Is that what it's going to take? Well, they would finally say, whoa, go grab him now, where he starts tweeting out super secrets, starts, and then saying, well, I can declassify them just by being me. Oh, let's take it to court. Oh, let's go to the Supreme Court. What is it going to take for them to go? <laughs> Communications to the world. You need to go get this guy now. Now, damage has already been done. Devil. Moon, howling at the moon. Government. Ace of Pentacles for money. 
page of pentacles for entertainment only but what i am getting here he has sold he has sold us out for the most ultimately pathetic amount of money i mean how much are human lives worth not much to him but well nothing to him besides his own maybe his kids to a point Corruption, howling at the moon, government. Here, have the, have the information, have the thing. Here, pathetic amounts of money. It's infuriating. Does he have handcuffs in his future? <laughs> Kathy Odinson wins the internet today. Never let him see a camera person, <laughs> camera person TV again. <laughs> let him never see a, a, a person, a man, what is it? Person, man, woman, camera, TV, something. That was good. Oh, wow. Trump, handcuffs. What is suspended, him or what they're going to do? That's the card for the reading. Mm. Feeling a little feisty today because it's like, oh. this is really important. Uh, Knight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. He doesn't have, le legally, he does not have a legal e argument to stand on. Apparently the filing his lawyers uh, uh, gave the court yesterday was pathetic. It was poor, it was too late, it was poorly written. It was potentially uh, threatening. Queen of Swords, Five of Swords. And why they do not raid the, his other properties right now is beyond me. And I don't want to hear about, well, we only had a credible witness over here. I'm sorry, if this was anybody else and you had this kind of sensitive material and you had multiple, you own multiple properties, do you know how fast the FBI would be all over those properties? insult to injury the longer you you leave him out there the more damage he can do and he is desperate for money what what happens if someone's contacting him now say foreign saying oh by the way you know we have this uh fund here that that uh, we'd like to we'd like to give you to for investments um you know, if you if you'd ever like to talk, you know, and would like to hear about what it was like to be president, and and um, you know what we just want to know what you know, you know, just get to know you. It, it, Trump is so desperate for money, <laughs> so go get him. It's they're they are so. They're being as they, they really don't want to blow it. So they're being as, as conservative on time timing as they can. But you're pretty gussy. I just cut the deck. Trump the man, devil, corruption. Would you like lift fare to his properties? The FBI need donations for jet fuel to get to his properties, for snacks. <laughs> oh, Sharon Ford, true. But I remember how far we've come in two years when we were afraid he would be reelected. That's true. That's true. I just, this stuff is coming out. And none of it's a surprise to me. 
zero. I don't think it's it's much of a surprise to anybody. You know, oh, it's worse than we thought. Of course, we have, have you met him? Have you seen him? Did you know? Did you just wake up from a coma? Uh, did, have you just been in a soap opera amnesia event? Which is not an actual amnesia event, but anyway. Stirring the pot. Magician, two of swords, chariot. Someone's gonna stand up. Someone is gonna stand up and make that decision. Someone important, go scour the other properties, get this guy in cuffs. I guarantee you right now, there are people who are, um, who are just beside themselves in the government who are like, we need to go now. Yeah. Deborah Johnson says there might be a handful of people outside of the country with our secrets. Think about that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Kristen also saying just in the FBI agents found sensitive documents lying in unsecure places outside the storage room Trump had padlocked, according to the Wall Street Journal. I believe it. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Bert. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, Amy Field said, does anyone get the feeling something with Trump is going to be happening soon? I feel like the anxiety. Sharon Ford said, it's important to stay grounded and do other things. The next two to three months will be worse. Yeah, I do think that, um, I, you know, I always do say there are good days ahead because there are. Uh, we are in this together. We shouldn't lose sleep on it. Uh, I, I think I just need to point out that when I'm doing the readings, I'm going into the energy and I am feel I can, to me, this is spiritual practice. I believe, I believe this is all energy and we can go into different pockets of energy that, cause we're all connected and there's nothing I do that you can't, by the way, I am as special as you are. Um, I just do it with graphics. I'm feeling total freak out. I, I'm feeling total freak out, like multiple agencies in the gov in the US government. What? Yeah. Oh boy, okay. Hey. Hey, Tiffany. <laughs> I love that Polly wound up. But, but, but Trump is so special. <laughs> Rochelle says, graphics and fantastic nails. Aw. What? Why, thank you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, Dave's walking through Golden Gate Park. How great is that? Take some, some deep, healthy breaths for us, Dave, because this is craziness. All right, so the next question, oh my gosh, I know I've just been talking for 20 minutes. 24 minutes in. Um, is there a big comma important internal push for Trump to be treated like any other open quotes traitor close quotes who is holding, who is, or was, oh, is, does he have more? Does Trump have even more 
super sensitive documents slash information hidden. Uh, hiding, holding, hiding, classified material, question mark. Okay. I'm, I'm having thoughts. I need to make some space so I can save this. All right. So for number two, at 26 minutes, is there a big important, big, like by important people, is there a big internal push inside the government, the DOJ, whatever, for Trump to be treated like any other, and anybody else who would be holding and hiding classified material that they should not have. Well, thank you, Stephanie. Um, to me, this, I, I would, I don't know the actual name for this. It would be a good name for this. It's, a, it's not quite bright enough to be a turquoise. I think of, I th I'm not helpful because I just think of it as like a 50s blue. It's slightly dull. Big Trump, big, is there a big internal push in the government? Same. Wow. Okay. Now I don't I don't know I don't even know the full history of like the CIA and, and what have you enough to say what the greatest leak of classified information in US history is. Anybody know off the top of their head? Or at least it's publicly known. Um, but it, I, it, people, more than one person saying, or, or something in the future, but it's someone saying the greatest, the greatest leak of sensitive information in the history of our country. Sherry saying teal. Kelly says Delft. Mimi says deep cerulean blue. Holly is suggesting mallard or capri blue. Um, yeah, I, I, by the way, we occasionally, we just try to talk about colors or things. So we're trying to keep the energy up so we don't just like to sink underneath the uh, weight of this infuriating stuff. Go get him. Five of Cups. Strength. Ten of... Oh, here we go. Glenn Bird. In the 80s, a Navy officer sold info to the USSR for years. He was hung as a traitor. That's true. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. Other than the court cards, guess, to, ignoring the court cards, guess which the highest cards are in each suit. One, two, three. As in completion, as in you're done, as in the end of. This is just looking over the wreckage and the damage. This is be this is this, it's it feels like more than just the usual disappointment. This is like, what did he do? 
strength. We are there. It, oh, yeah. There are people beside themselves and the sheer amount of stuff and the, the legal swords that belong in Trump's metaphorical back and us seeing this all come to fruition where this man is held accountable. It's right there. So, but the question at 3030, does Trump have even more super secret documents and information hidden? Stuff that, that the National Archives doesn't realize there are copies of? Or, um, it's just going to pull the whole time. Um, either things that the, the archives doesn't know about or thinks that they have sorted out, but they don't. I love you, but you're just pulling on my shirt at this point. Okay, there we go. Yes, there more, but wait, wait, there's more. Tiffany Lilly says, duh, 3130. At this point, if he does have that and copies and what have you, yeah, they they really they really need to find a hole, an oubliette, to yeet him into a legal oubliette to yeet him into. Say, oh, he's been hurt. He's 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 uh, he's going to a rest home. No, no, nobody can visit him. That's okay. We'll take care of him. I'm not saying they'll take him out. I'm saying. Kelly, yeah, don't they just assume that all records have been copied? It feels like it's gone through a copier. Oh, he's definitely asked for them to be. He's asked staff to make copies of everything. Definitely. And I, I, it feels like a couple of them, like, uh, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Like, can we do that? The emperor. Yes. Please. Oh, he's so vile. Knight of Pentacles, highest bidder, three of cups, devil, ten of cups, eight of, sorry, seven of wands on the defensive. Hobnobbing with the Saudis, etc., etc., and us finally getting some satisfaction with this corruption, everything laid out and putting Trump and all of his flunkies on severe, in a severe defensive position. And does Trump care? About no one but himself. Roxana says he had them put in an old Amazon cardboard box addressed to Vlad at the Kremlin. Mm -hmm. Stephanie's was saying already sold, barred, distributed, whatever. Yeah. So, are they going to find out about this? Do something about it? Start. Um, I think I think this is part of why everything's leaking right now. It's because of the freak out. What? We need to. 
I'm, I'm going to leak this. I'm going to get this, the, 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 not the information, but the, how many documents there are, how secret they are. I'm going to get this. I'm going to slide this to uh, my contacts or my go-to press person because we need to get this out there. We need to make it clear to the American people how, how much we need to, there's Mar-a-Lago, make a, a legal decision. Yeah. It, it feels like it will be sooner rather than later, but I don't know exactly what that means. I agree, Fran. He needs to be stopped. Apple saying so much leaking. Okay. All right. So at 36 minutes, Kelly had a question. It seems Trump and his team released a letter from the National Archives to Trump lawyers regarding the retrieval of documents from Trump by, was this a mistake? Was it a mistake? It's a, over on Raw Story. Let's see here, hang on a second. Justin. Justin saying that Val Demings is kicking Marco Rubio's butt. And Rubio is panicking. I love it. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Let's have a look at this. Share. Share screen. Chrome tab. That is... Uh, do I need to take this down? Yeah. Yikes. Experts stunned after Trump's late night release of the document from the National Archives. Let's see if I can close this. There we go. Yeah, that's a good look. Put your hands up. Put your tiny little hands up. Maybe they can go get some of the like baby Yoda little handcuffs. Anyway. Um, former President Donald Trump reportedly released a new document very late Monday night that legal experts believe is incredibly damaging. Conservative journalist, one of Donald Trump's official representatives, Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, he released a letter from, and it said, quote, as you are no doubt aware, the National Archives had ongoing communications with the former president's representatives throughout 2021 about what appeared to be missing presidential records, which resulted in the transfer of 15 boxes of records to the National Archives in January 2022. In its initial review of materials, see, this is just a normal kind of letter you'd write, nothing to see here. In this initial review of materials within those boxes, the National Archives identified items marked as classified national security information up to the top, no, up to the level of top secret and including sensitive compartmented information and special access pro program materials, you know, like you do. The National Archives informed the Justice Department from the Justice Department about that discovery, which prompted the department to ask the president, former president, to request that the National Archives provide the FBI with access to the boxes at issue so the FBI and others in the intelligence community could examine them. Experts were stunned. Yikes, tweeted Tufts Professor Daniel Dresner. This is incredible. Attorney Bradley Moss wondered, does John Solomon realize how bad that letter is for Trump? Trump not only had classified records at Mar-a-Lago, 
not only had TSSCI classified documents, he had special access program classified information. Those are our most sensitive secrets. And they're sitting in a basement. The letter also confirms that Trump was on notice that the documents he possessed were federal government property. He needed to return them. And Justin Barragona, correspondent for the Daily Beast, explained the best part of this is that John Solomon posted the letter because he thinks it is extraordinarily damning for the Biden White House. Or at least he's trying to preemptively frame it for Trump world. Also, John Solomon refers to Trump as the man Joe Biden beat in the 2020 election. This is awful. Okay. Um, okay. Well, that's not good. I, I think that's officially not good. I don't think it was a mistake that that letter was sent. Um, but holy cats, it's, it's, it feels like legal malpractice. His lawyers are really bad. They don't know what they're doing. Shut down the beast. Two of Swords, Decisions, Two of Cups. They tried to talk to him. Knight of Swords, Four of Cups, Page of Pentacles. So he was fully under notice and he refused. And he kept some of them because he wanted to. Yeah, this is this is bad. Is is what ramifications is this letter going to have? Kathy DeLisle says, you get what you pay for. Yes, but the problem is he doesn't pay. Then again, now that makes perfect sense. Goes along with what you're saying. Yeah. And and thank you all for your comments and your your the funny things you're saying. And thank you. Thank you for sharing in this with me because I'd be going out of my mind right now if I was having to look at all this by myself. Ten of Wands, burden of all of the stuff. Nine of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Swords. Yeah, it's going to be a bad thing. The energy of freak out I am getting from the government right now is like, you just want to scream. I, I, it's just, it's bad. The tension, the just. <laughs> okay. Jeez. All right. Um, 40, 43.45. Mar-a-Lago, quote, the Mar-a-Lago documents could have caused a massive firestorm and gotten people killed if they leaked. The reason they're compartmented is because they could betray and likely would betray the sources of information, either a human source or a technical source, close quote. As we learn more about how little Trump cared for our nation's security, will more on the right finally begin to wake up? They finally, Kelly says, okay, thanks. I decree a gag order on Trump. His lawyers try. That's why he keeps losing lawyers too. They say, look, I'll be your lawyer if you shut your trap. And in one case, I'm I, again, correct me if I'm wrong. But what I heard is they, they said, shut your trap basically. And by the time they got to their car, he was already tweeting about it. It's like, I'm never done here.
All right. Hey, everybody on the right. Uh, national security. Anything? Lock him up. You're only, you only plead the fifth if you're guilty. Anything? Anybody? Cards for the reading. Silence and hemmed in. Well, on, on the whole, they just don't want to talk about it. Or they, they just want to minimize it. But we'll see. Oh, Janelle and Alex Jones and Bannon all gagged. Wouldn't it be lovely? Tower. Yes, bringing, our, bringing chunks of our country down. Oh, my gosh. Tower Justice, Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Strength. We don't need him. A move toward other heinous people like DeSantis and Cruel King Abbott of Texas. Jeez. Yeah, they, they want someone who's sitting pretty to keep try to to keep the party strong, to keep our security strong. Do not do not underestimate the Democrats. And I think some of them are actually more afraid of Democrats. It's weird. It's like it's like what they say about Biden on the far right. He's decrepit. He can barely string a sentence together. He's he's weak. They're they're hiding just how weak and addled and he has dementia. Also, he is, you know, practically the head of the Illuminati and he's running the world and it's to take away our freedoms and he's doing all of this stuff with the deep state and it's like how how would both how would uh, Republicans they will move on oh that reminds me is it in here there was a there was a uh, there wasn't a link to a story that was the problem so I don't know if this is just on Twitter or if this is a real thing but someone was saying that uh, Trump wants if for the Florida governor's race, Trump wants people to write in his name to show DeSantis who's boss. I don't know if that's true, but that would be, that would be a thing. All right, well, let's get through a little bit more of this and then we'll, we'll ask questions like that. At 48 minutes in, the DOJ wants more security footage after the Mar-a-Lago search, are they looking to see who else Trump showed the documents to? I think it's more, will it show Trump showing the documents to people he shouldn't have? Will the security footage show Trump saying, Oh, we'll just come in here for after, we'll just come in here for, you know, some after dinner cognac and national security information. You know, some people have a wine cellar. Temperance. Oh, please. I, 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 you've heard me say it a million times. Thank God for stupid criminals. Um, let's hope. Let's hope he's just that useless. Page of Cups. Two of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. That's the thief card. That's the, that's the seven of swords and the three of wands is what you put out. This is, this is, this person right here 
is has like he creates these staffs all right cuts down trees a whole bunch of them then he had them loaded into ships and they went off to do trade and now he is waiting for his ships to come in and there they are coming back with whatever because so it's about to be his payday and that's a thief card and there's trump swanning around as he does I assumed there would be, they'd turn the cameras off, that do, 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 I've got do, doing whatever he wants. There's a thief card and there's a ship coming in. Is it an empty quiver on his back? Uh, honestly, it, honestly, it looks more like a rope. Like the way you might like loop a rope, a long rope around your, but probably when it says demonic protection, I don't think he's protected by demons. I really don't. I really don't. We're going to get to see Donald Trump committing treason on camera. Oh, Terry S. Marine Blue. I like that. Card for the reading. That would be the death card. Eight of Pentacles working. King of Pentacles. Hermit. Keep it secret. This is working. This is business. This is Trump the businessman. Study. Careful study. Come bring the lantern and we'll go look at the thing in the dark. The thing that's back there in the dark, metaphorically. On the defensive, justice, communication, big bully, I do what I want, I'm 100 feet tall, and I have fabulous blonde hair. Every time you think, you have to have hit bottom with Trump. You have to. I mean, there's, there's only so many hours in the day. Hmm. All right. 54. Karen had a question. Oh, it's about Jared. Huh? The evil mannequin himself. Um, slender man Jared. He was, he went on The View or he went on something and he was talking and he really is creepy. He really does have, he really does have, um, my, my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, I might have this backwards, but I heard, I heard a, a um, psychologist was saying that in the psychology field, please correct me, that they, the difference between the easy difference between socio, being a sociopath and a psychopath is is that the soci, sociopaths are tend to be more quiet and it's the psychopaths who are just you know the joker kind of um, you know the the sociopath would be like Al Ghul. In, in Batman, whatever his name was. 
but the Joker would be a psychopath. That kind of thing. So we know which word to use for Jared. Ian says correct. Thank you. Um, how deeply, Karen's asking, Karen Creed's asking, how deeply is Jared Kushner involved in the secret document scheme? Is he being scrutinized? man. It's a card for the reading for Jared. R R Ra Al Ghul. Thank you, Ricky. Is that it? Yeah. Thank you. Four of Four of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Hierophant, Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands. He was part of the administration with his wife. That's the government. Refusal. History of turning points. Um I, I think he's got I think he's got his own issues. I'm not I'm not picking up this particular thing. Yvette is saying that uh, Jared uh, Jared had cancer. Jared is saying he had cancer. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But there there are any number of people who were around him at that time who said he wasn't sick, he wasn't missing anything, he wasn't weak, he wasn't... He did. So... And it's not like, oh, he wouldn't lie about something like that. Justin says Jared is lying. Uh, Fran said he was playing the victim on Fox News this morning. Oh, is that it? Oh. I wouldn't want to be in a room with him. 58. I don't need that kind of gross energy in my life. 58. Rhonda had a question. Will Sidney Powell face jail time for sharing voting machine information with others? Did she? Is it Sidney Powell? I, I was over on, um, I spent yesterday evening on Hal Sparks channel because he went over the new Mike Lindell documentary film quote 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 um whatever you want to call it uh and it was it was it was about the the woman in colorado who shared passwords into the dominion voting machines online and took copies and uh So, but Sydney Powell did it too. Voting copy, voting machine information. Sydney Powell, voting machine information. News. Trump allies. Trump allied lawyers pursued voting machine data in multiple blah, 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 blah. This was a week ago in the Washington Post. Trump allied lawyers sought voting machine data in key battleground states. Trump's lawyers could be subject of criminal investigation into trespass of Georgia's election system files Copied from voting systems were shared with Trump allied attorneys. Oh boy. So, 
Sydney Powell. Enjoy your diet, Dr. Pepper, while you can. Are you going to be buying it from the prison commissary? Is that the right term, commissary? The data firm Sullivan Strickler copied sensitive information from a Dominion voting system in Coffee County, Georgia, and were directed by Trump-connected attorneys to do the same in Michigan, Nevada. The effort was revealed through records that were subpoenaed in a long-running lawsuit about election security in Georgia. Tower. Do 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 Sydney Powell. Sydney Powell. Oh God. Kristen has news. Trump Super PAC. Huh. Oh, wait, wait, it jumped. Trump Super PAC hosting $100,000 a person candlelight dinner with the former president at one of the New Jersey's New Jersey golf clubs per invitation. Desperate for money. All right, Sydney Powell. It's a diet. It's a it's a empty diet Pepsi, but cheers. Kelly Wackadoo. Moxie Chacha has Powell been disbarred yet? I thought she was. I don't know. Six of Cups. Page of Wands, Ace of Cups, Temperance. This feels like she's already done. Like, do not stress, do not worry about it. This, the energy of this is signed, sealed, delivered. The message is... The, the information she got, she, we're okay. Don't worry. But they, they, they're definitely going to rain on her parade, but she wasn't able to do the, the damage that she could have. No, but we want to know, is she going to be held accountable? True, Heather. At least by candlelight, you can't see him. Ricky's asking, who wants to pay a hundred grand for McDonald's? I haven't darkened the door of a McDonald's in years and years. That's your fault, McDonald's, because you don't have any kind of veggie burger. You don't have a vegan burger. So I have no reason to darken your door. Neither does my family. If we get fast food, we just go to Burger King. Queen of Swords. Oh, she's she's... Madam Lawyer. Oh, wait. Dave's saying I wouldn't hold a candle outside of a circle anywhere near Trump. Maybe if you can, like, get candles all the way around him, maybe they can, like, contain the evils. <laughs> Kidding. Evils with a Z. Did it for the evils. Two of Cups. Lovers, judgment. They've, they've, she's just dead to rights. This is, this is, I'm, it, it done. That's the energy here. I'm not even getting a, an outrage. A, you know, she needs to be held accountable. Da, 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 da. It, this energy is. Now, I, she's still walk, walking around. I, I guess stuff's coming out now, but it, it feels like a slam dunk. For what it's worth, that's what I'm getting. Salt circle, exactly, Cheryl. Cheryl, Cheryl Ward. Yeah, you get the little salt shakers from the tables. And we'll all work together, make a circle. Okay. Sandy Miller has a question at 105. Ooh, something about the something about Rachel Maddow. We love Rachel. It's being reported, Rachel Maddow, this morning, 
that when Bill Barr got the Mueller report, he never even looked at the report when deciding not to charge Trump for obstruction. Well, yeah. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Um, then who redacted it? Someone had to read it to mark out so much. Will there be others implicated in covering up the Mueller report? Or did Trump have anything to do with redacting the report? Now, that's a question. Did, was, was the Mueller report, was all that redaction done by a flunky of bars or a flunkies of Trump? Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Hermit. That feels like the White House. That the White House was involved in this somehow. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it didn't just sit sit quietly over at the DOJ and. And, um, you know, Bill Barr sat in a small room with his buddies, you know, his work buddies over the weekend. You know, this, this says, this view, this is White House energy all over it. Did Trump have anything to do with the redactions? Obviously, he would have just torn the whole thing up and tried to flush it. But, and, you know, the pipes just wouldn't have been able to handle that. What is it? I, I know the, the numbers are probably wrong, but it isn't. Who was it who said, you know, it tells you the level of intelligence we're dealing with here when Trump was in a building with 35 fireplaces and he tried to flush documents. Six of wands. No, six of pentacles. Sorry. Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups. So Bar's going to be on the defensive. Please. Um, it doesn't feel like Trump himself, because Trump didn't want to read that much. But it says White House energy all over it. All over it. Right, Lola Bell. They let Trump draw the lines to the text with a sharpie. So, um, will at 108 15, will Barr, will Bill Barr? be legally held accountable for what he did to and with the Mueller report. I'm not entirely sure what the statute would be, but destruction of justice, yes, but and what happened to the sealed indictments? That's what I want to know. Yes, Tiffany, that is why Trump complained so many times about how long, how, how many flushes you need to flush the toilet. Yep. <laughs> Apple says Trump didn't use the fireplaces because he has a fear of flames. That was cute. Oh, Will you be legally held accountable for what you did with the Mueller report? Certainly, certainly feeling beaten up. His place in, in the history books is ugly. Page of Cups, and he's the one who said, oh, that was right, he said, 
um, you know, someone said history won't look at you favorably or something like that. And but he did say history is written by the the victors. It's like yeah, exactly. World, sun. And we're gonna have to wait. I there there isn't an answer right now. There isn't an answer right now. I don't get this often, but sometimes I do. There isn't an answer right now. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Kelly had a question at 111. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm not going there. Kelly asked, will the interpreter at Trump and Putin's private meeting ever spill the beans? Can she be called as a witness in the upcoming espionage trial against Trump? That would be awesome. <sighs> Interpreter at Trump and Putin's private meetings, where Trump confiscated the notes. Janelle says, not if she wants to live. No. Nah. Legal silence. Ace of Cups, Two of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Meh. Energy is really weak. Uh, legal decision, but this is all minor arcana and it feels small. And she's just gone on. The, the, the energy is like this big. So make of that what you will. So they got a couple of dud questions. All right, let's move on to Eileen's question. See what we get. One, one thirteen. Let's just do one thirteen. Trump filed a Fourth Amendment challenge. Trump's filed Fourth Amendment challenge was assigned to U.S. District Court Judge Eileen Cannon a Trump-appointed Federalist Society member. Will it do any good in the long run? I had heard that there, at least one of the judges he's dealing with was one of them. But I don't, um, I, there's no link. I don't know what this is about. The case was assigned to Judge Eileen Cannon, a Trump appointee. Monday's filing also asked Cannon to force the DOJ to return any items. Oh, this is the ridiculous thing that his lawyers filed way too late and it's really badly written and it doesn't actually ask for anything really. So will Federalist District Court Judge Eileen Cannon, will she rule in Trump's favor? Communication. There's Trump the man. There's the star card. There's the King of Pentacles. He's, yes, he's a person of the people, but he's, he is so special. Um, she, she wants to give him special treatment. She wants to. Is she going to? OK, 
Because are you really going to take that laughable? Well, then again, I, I mean, the FBI took the, all the documents from, from Mar-a-Lago and gave them to what is called a taint team, which is they go through the documents, see if, there, if there's any conflict of interest, um, rather, like, not conflicts of interest, um, lawyer client privileged information, things like that, or things that are just completely have nothing to do with anything. That's already happened. If they really wanted a special prosecutor, a special master to be, sorry, a special master to be assigned to this, I'm sorry, I'm getting all of my, <laughs> all of my terms mixed up in my head. Uh, they should have done it immediately. I mean, the, the judge could still, could, yeah, it, well, the government's like, the FBI is just like, we know a thief when we see one. There's Mar-a-Lago, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. She's, she's going to do what she can for Trump. Yeah, she's going to do what she can for it. But she's going to give him a free ride on everything. Where she can, but she can't on everything. There's some stuff on the face of it. Magician that's just too clear cut. Yeah, but there she is. She's trying. She's trying. But they're bringing good cases against Trump. But she's trying to take Trump's side. But it feels like she, she can't always. Let's hope she doesn't end up with the uh, actual case in the, the DOJ. Matter of fact, I, I'd be surprised if the, the why isn't the DOJ saying, ah, conflict, conflict. So, yeah, I don't trust her as far as I could throw her. Oh, there's a good question. It's from Nuclear Magenta. Thank you. At 117.30. 117.30. Ha ha. Nuclear Magenta saying it's been rumored that Trump will encourage voters in Florida to write in his name in the gubernatorial election to show DeSantis who's boss. This is going to happen. Oh, boy. voters to write in. are they is, are they really is he really going to say write me in for governor of florida hmm. yes please split the vote please oh please split the vote oh trump thinks he's all that oh he thinks he is all that yes of course i would win Steal, steal the spotlight and the power from DeSantis. People, his, his people working for him, but they, yeah, he'd come up short. He'd split the vote, he'd come up short. The truth is he would be too afraid of losing, I think. Yeah, he'd be, this is election. I think he'd be too afraid of losing. But... No, please go ahead. Go ahead. You're right. Oh, boy. All right. I've got two questions left. One is about Murdoch's in Australia. And the other is about the national shortage of teachers and go to Supreme Court legalizing tax money for religious schools. Uh, 
Oh, and just a general knowledge. Um, apparently, Dr. Oz just called for veterans to be kicked off the tri off Tricare and placed back into private insurance. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Oz. Please enjoy your retirement. Um, okay. Murdoch's. 12030. Owners of Fox Noise. Marie was asking, crikey is, I, I assumed it was an expression, but in fact, it's a, some kind of newspaper website type thing. Crikey is hoping to expose Murdoch and Fox News through the discovery process in their litigation. Oh, what will the card say about this case? Will it even go ahead? Basically, uh, an editorial is an opinion piece. Correct me if I'm wrong. Opinion piece um, that said that Fox News was responsible, or at least in part responsible, for what happened on January 6th because they could have done more to stop it. And so Lachlan Murdoch is suing Crikey for defamation or something, something, something. Murdoch family and Crikey. Message. Okay, message, messenger. Can be a small newspaper, website-ish thing. Whatever media they're in. Ten of Cups. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Three of Three of Wands. Well, there's this there's a certain amount of this is an editorial. Um, I don't know what the Australian laws are, but I would imagine that they have their own version of free speech. And it's not a big, it, it's not like the world's biggest site. Murdochs are in a better position. Um, the dis what was it about the discovery process? That doesn't look great. This is legal. No, th th people going to Jan January 6th. Thinking, and Murdoch's perhaps, or Fox News thinking that they could put out all of this vitriol and they would get back money and viewers and, and what have you. Crikey is hoping to expose the Murdoch and Fox News through the discovery process in their litigation. Yeah, that's right there. Will it go ahead? I, I think this is going to be an expensive case to bring because the information they need, it's a lot. They have to go through a lot to find what they need. Will the case go through? Will Crikey win? Crikey. Well, we know who's really responsible. Fox helped, but we know who's responsible. Trump. Knight of Swords, Sun, Queen of Wands, it, 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 it feels like it's ultimately going to be something like settled out, out of court or, I don't know, it's, they'll get through it. I think the the 
thing, what the questions I've been reading on with Trump and, and this classified in this classified material is so big and so important. It's making some of this other stuff that normally it's just, it'll get resolved. Um, how much were they involved? It's just, it, this is not, it's not earth shattering. Um, they'll work something out. That's all I'm getting. I did. True. Tiffany, they're still feeding the crazy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's, this is uh, meh. Yes, Kate, vote. Please vote. Please vote legally. Vote once. And I think I had something else here. Okay, um, at 126 and a bit, we have Nanette's question. Okay, 126. Will the national shortage of teachers and the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court legalizing tax money for religious schools affect the education of the next generation? Yeah. Will public schools disappear, leaving only private and religious schooling? I don't think so, but let's have a look. Schooling is going to get, oh gosh, I don't know how far in the future this is. I'm getting a really good mental image of, of like nice classrooms. Like everybody has nice classrooms. I think it was Lewis Black who was saying that at the time Arkansas was had been 50th in the nation for education and they managed to rise up to 49th. And Lewis Black was saying that that might not be something you want to run on. And he was like, what was the miracle? Pencils? Maybe it's just my optimism, but it feels like in the, in like, gosh, I don't know, like a significant, like, a number of years from now, I'm getting a mental image of, of something more akin to like a, almost like a Star Trek, you know, where of course there are schools, of course they have materials, of course there's air conditioning and there's safety and um, But is it going to be all the money going to private schools and whatnot? Mm, for profit. Thank you, Betsy DeVos. Queen of Wands. Two of Pentacles. DeVos did a lot of damage. And now these jerks like DeSantis is, are, are trying to do even more. Oh, yuck. Insult to injury. Yeah, this is going to be bad for a while. Well, oh, blue. 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 Please vote blue. Because the damage that Betsy DeVos did, are just it's just continuing on. Teachers will, will continue to get not be paid properly. And and because there aren't enough teachers, DeSantis has like military people who who he doesn't have he has somebody else, like other people who don't have all the teaching certif certifications and all that. Just like, come on in. 
um, insult to in, thief and insult to injury. This in the short term, this is not good. In the long term, I got a very clear image of a much nicer situation. <sighs> Queen of Wands, Betsy DeVos, Burr. Emperor, Nine of, doo -doo -doo. yeah, in the short term, and in red states. If you're in a red state, expect nothing good, because they're just going to keep on and keep on and keep on. All right. But... We're going to get through it. We're going to get through it together because you're not alone. We are in this together. All right. So it is 1.34 p.m. here in Chicago. That's going to do it for me for today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, at 4 o'clock, I'll be over on the Book Art Media channel to do Creative Sprints. I'm going to be creating a Creative Sprints channel. It's going to be its own thing. Hopefully by the 1st of... October. I don't think we can get it. I don't think I can get it done before then. But anyway, uh, but for now, over on the Book Art Media channel, and then I will be right back here tomorrow because I'm here 365 days of the year. All right. I'll take more of your questions out of the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So hang in there. You're not alone. We are in this together, and there are good days ahead. Take care.